Hello, Naomi here. Today I wanted to review a book called The Empath Survival Guide by Judith Orloff. Um, I felt it was important because a lot of the readings that I'm doing are coming from people who are empaths but have never heard the term. And that was me not long ago. I had never heard the term either. So I read the book that I was recommended and I wanted to read out the description of an empath just to see if it was anything that might ring a bell with you. Empaths have an extremely reactive neurological system. We don't have the same filters that other people do to block out stimulation. As a consequence, we absorb into our bodies both the positive and stressful energies around us. We are so sensitive that it's like holding something in a hand that has 50 fingers instead of five. We are truly super responders. So it's important to know if you are an empath. Um, and there's a difference. Judith notes a few different kinds. So I wanted to read those out and see if any of those really rang a bell with you. Um, the first type she calls a physical empath. You are especially attuned to other people's physical symptoms and tend to absorb them into your body. You can also become energized by someone's sense of well-being. So this is an important one because you can have pains in your body that aren't your own pains. And I think once you realize that you are a physical empath and you're picking up on other people's physical pains and feeling them as your own, you know, that can take a lot of the fear out of every day if you're picking up a lot of people's physical pains. So once you realize that potentially the pain you're feeling is not your own, you can work to remove that pain. And what I do is just a quick meditation or a, a quick white light anyway to protect myself and then just meditation to release that pain and um, I'll put one on the YouTube channel for you if this sounds like you and um, yeah it just really really helps to control your thoughts and your mind that it's not your own pain and that you can relax that area and you can remove that pain and it when it will go it'll go very quickly so um, so this physical empaths uh, there's also emotional empaths. You mainly pick up other people's emotions and can become a sponge for their feelings, both happy and sad. So the example Judith gives is that you're in a movie theater, watching a comedy, and you come out feeling depressed. So you were sitting next to somebody whose energy was depressed and you picked up on that and you absorbed it and it became your own. So that's, you know, not an amazing way to live. So um, if you are that uh, emotional empath, you feel like real ups and downs, depending on who you've been around that day, um, how you can help yourself is so important, is especially the white lighting. So that is literally when you just sit for two seconds and just imagine a white light around you. I mean, you don't even need to sit. You can be standing, you can be in the queue for the supermarket, whatever, and you just white light yourself. You imagine a mist, an egg, anything protective around you, and that will really, really help with um, not picking up other people's emotions. Um, there's also intuitive empaths. You experience extraordinary perceptions such as heightened intuition, telepathy, messages and dreams, animal and plant communication, as well as contact with the other side. The following includes the different types and how they function. So she's got quite a few that might ring a bell with you. So there's telepathic empaths and they receive intuitive information about others in present time. You've got precognitive empaths that have premonitions about the future while awake or dreaming. Dream empaths avid dreamers and can receive intuitive information from dreams that helps others and guides them in their own lives. Mediumship empaths can access spirits on the other side. 
plant empaths can feel the needs of plants and connect with their essence. Earth empaths are attuned to changes in our planet, our solar system and the weather. Animal empaths can tune into animals and communicate with them. So obviously it's a sliding scale. Um, you can have all of those types of empath abilities or you could have one really, really strongly. Um, you could have a few, two or three in, in a small amount. But it's just very interesting knowledge is power if you know about it and you analyze what happens to you in the day then you can really see if you do need to put some protection strategies into place and that's what i really want to go into so i've touched on the white light which is so important i mean this is a universal thing whether you're none of those empath abilities rang a bell with you at all you can still protect yourself we're all energy and everybody is giving off energy so do you want to be taking on other people's energies no so you just white light yourself you literally it takes two seconds imagine a white light around you however you can visualize it as an egg as a mist as a cloak whatever you want but this is multiple times in the day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, in the queue at the supermarket, any time in the car, you know, any time you can just quickly do it. Um, going into a meeting, taking a phone call, white light, white light. So I just cannot say how much this will change so much for you. So it's super important. Then the other thing I would say that is like the next step from that is meditation. Whether you're into meditation massively or you've never tried meditation, I have put a few guided meditations on my YouTube channel. Um, they're short, they're to the point. Um, I know everybody is super busy. So yeah, I just wanted to put a few on in case you couldn't even, you know, there's so many on YouTube, but it's just nice to have a place where you can have a few. And um, so yeah, so I'll put one on now about white light as well. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that uh, description of Empath Survival Guide and what an empath is and any comments, questions, please put them below and I'll answer. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.